We have Mandriva 2007, the free edition, installed, and now we're booting it for the first time from the hard drive. We wait a little bit, and then along comes a little bit of a um, bar in that lower left-hand corner. See it? Booting the system. Press Escape for verbose mode. That gives us kind of like the detail thing when we were installing. If we do that, see, so we can see everything that it's doing. Remember, Linux boots slowly and methodically. Checks every single thing, every part of your system as it boots. And this is still just the system itself. Now we're loading up the graphical user interface. Remember that we enabled. We log in. We have one user, and I'm going to log in as user, not root. R-O-B-L-I-M-O. -O. And then you have to click enter here, and then the password. I'm not going to tell you my password. But on the other hand, I'm not asking you for yours either. Now KDE, the KDE desktop boots up. We're not going to hear the sound because we're doing this as a screen capture, not including sound, but I assure you it's a beautiful little pleasant tune, sort of tinkly in the background, comes along as these parts of the desktop interface boot up. And here it is. KDE Mandriva style. Quite a nice looking and attractive desktop. It also gives you this thing here, this big page where you can like click to um, get onto Mandriva pretty much pay for things. But on the other hand, if you don't want to see this on every startup, well, I don't know, I'll click it. Yeah, I'll do that. I click support Mandriva. Huh. And so Firefox automatically starts from that. Of course, I clicked, um, unclicked the little box. So next time we won't see that big splash thing. Interesting. Hmm. It looks to me as if we're getting the web page. And what that means is that somehow or other, that network, remember the network that didn't get us the automatic downloads? Well, by gosh, it seems to be working. So yes, it did detect the connection to my local network, got right on. Let's make sure, click on another um, something or other and um, make sure that it loads and we're not doing this as a local thing. By gosh, there we go. We have actual HTTP, so yes, we do have a connection. Excelente. I do like that. It seems we do have a complete installation. We're ready to rock and roll. And I bet we have a whole bunch of software automatically installed too. By the way, this is a big difference between Windows and Linux. With Windows, when you install that operating system, all you get is the operating system. With most Linux distributions, hey, you actually have usable software from that installation that took you really no longer than installing Windows, a half hour or so generally. I'm looking at this and here's something else. This is the um, Mandrake Club stuff. I'll tell you, that makes it a lot easier, but we'll talk about that in another video. It costs money though. Let's see what we have. Office, applications, word processor, open office writer. We have the open office stuff, yeah, open office and Kivio, um, Scribe is great. Task management, address books, communications, mm, PDA, fax. Yeah, we can uh, synchronize our PDA here. We have several accessories and we have the web version of the open office word processor. We have two web browsers. We have instant messaging like mad. We have also some uh, chat, um, several news aggregators. Uh, um, a file trading application, video conferencing even, a uh, nice web page maker, Enview, and we have several remote apps, access apps, that, uh, and also a news ticker if we want it. Not too shabby. We have sound stuff. We have um, a good selection there. Amarok CD player, recording level monitor. We have also TV and the KM player a general media file player. For graphics, we have Digicam, very nice for getting pictures in. GIMP, of course, excellent program. Once you learn a little bit how to use it, not that hard. System stuff, terminals, you'll need those. Configuration, a whole separate video working here. Control center, everything else. File tools, we can just click there and find files and folders. And monitoring, you know, the uh, K-Sysguard and the uh, whole um, 
um, system setup does deserve its very, very own video. We have a run command. We can lock session. And what else do we have? Let's see here. Mm, well, we just have so much stuff. Um, more applications, yeah. Accessibility, things to make your keys easier and your type bigger and everything like that, even an on-screen keyboard. We have one developer act application, although I didn't ask for any, two little text editors. We have GNU Cache, an excellent program. It'll directly import your Quicken files. We have the OpenOffice.org base database and oh, 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 a whole bunch of games. Lots of games, different kinds of games. Uh-oh, Poker Patience, which is um, solitaire. <laughs> uh oh I'm gone. I'm gone. A whole bunch of board games. And we even have some arcade games. Some arcade games, look at that. These aren't fancy games, but they're nice little time fillers. You know, when your boss isn't there, or you don't have anything to do, really, or don't want to do anything, but you want to look like you're busy. Anyway, that's your basic tour. It gives you sort of an idea what Mandrake Linux or rather Mandriva Linux, as it's called nowadays, used to be Mandrake, what it does, except how to shut it down, which is go to that star and then click log out and we'll end the current session. And uh, I'm going to stop making videos because quite frankly, I think I'll go play some Patience Solitaire and I love that KDE Solitaire. <laughs>